Hi friends, Christy here over at Crafty Christy's Creations and today I have another awesome Silhouette Studio tutorial for you. Today we are going to talk all about print bleed with your print and cut projects. So let's go ahead and jump in. So here I've got a new card design. Uh, this is a triangle happy birthday design here. And um, I'm going to do a print and cut with these pieces right here because I don't have that color cardstock. So in order to do that, I'm going to go ahead and pull everything else off to the side. And then here I'm going to come up to my page setup panel and I'm going to come over to the registration marks. Actually, first I'm going to turn on my print border and my cut border. And then I can come over to registration marks and I'm going to turn those on. Let's go ahead and move things around here. I'm going to spread these pieces out to make sure that I've got room so that they can have a bleed on them. And then uh, for me, I have to bring in this bottom corner so that way it'll actually be seen on my print for whatever reason my printer prints a little higher margin at the bottom. So then now what I can do is I can grab all of these and right here on your registration mark page is this print bleed. I'm going to go ahead and click that and it defaults to 0.05. I'm going to go ahead and turn that up to 1. 0.1, sorry. Actually, that's too far. Let's go to um, 0.75. Now you'll see on your screen that did not make any changes on anything here, but when I go to hit print and my print preview, now you can see things look different on my preview. So what that does is it's going to print more of your color, but your cut line will still be in the same spot. So let me show you where the cut line is. And then if I can see, I've got this, um, I'm going to do my outline color for all these in black. Now, if you see where that black line is, it has a point value, so it should show up on the print. So now if I go to my print preview, it went ahead and gave that a line as well. So that doesn't really help us. So let's go ahead and get rid of that. And then I'm going to go ahead, we'll go to our print. I've got all my registration marks are within this black line. Here's my print border. Everything's in there. So now I'm going to go ahead and print this out and then I'll show you what I mean when we go ahead and cut it. Okay, so it's reading the registration marks. I went ahead and put it in there. So your little square is in the top left corner and it's reading all of these. And uh, so then once it's done reading all my registration marks, it'll go ahead and start cutting. Now I will say I tried to do some print and cuts yesterday and I was having a terrible time with them. They were cutting totally off balance and it just wasn't good. And I kind of went through all my steps to figure out how to troubleshoot that. And then it turns out today I had an update for Silhouette Studio. So I will go ahead and link um, to the video to how to troubleshoot some of your print and cuts. But you can see there, even here with the cut lines, it's got that bleed still left there. So that way when you go ahead and do your cut, you still have that lovely extra bit of print. So even if it cuts slightly off, everything is going to be the color that you want it. Okay, so there's my cutout pieces. And then you can see on my mat, I've got that bleed still left on my mat, which is great because that means even if it cuts slightly off, I've still got that lovely edge there so that all of my pieces are completely the color that I want them and there's no white left over on them. So that is why you would use a print bleed with your print and cut. 